Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between LED, fluorescent, and incandescent black lights. Now more specifically, these are black light blue lights. They're also just regular black lights on the market, but those are mostly in the fluorescent variety. Of course, some LED on the market nowadays but are used mostly, again, in bug catching fixtures. So here we are taking a look at the traditional, as most people know, black light blue bulbs. So I have a variety of different items here, an old black and white TV, a $5 bill, and this iBook. And each of these items glow under the black light. And I also have a very cool pen that glows very bright, brightly under the black light, but unfortunately I do not have that here at the moment. So let's go ahead and get started with the incandescent black lights. Um, thinking more generally, let's take a first glance at all of them, I guess. Now these black lights produce UVA, which allows certain items to glow under that wavelength of light. So the incandescent versions, here, use Wood's glass to do that. Now, here we have an older version. This is a black light by Gemini, I believe, from the 70s, and a more modern incandescent one here by Philips. Both of these are 75 watts, but I believe this one is Wood's glass, and this one is some imitation. But that's just what I think. So first, let's go ahead and take some of these out of their boxes. So here we can see the Woods glass on a traditional incandescent black light bulb. It is very dark and very hard to see inside of the bulb because of the darkness of the glass. So we'll go ahead and screw it into the socket here. Well, I suppose let's put it in the center for right now. And let's go ahead and also take out the Philips version as well. Now this version is a little easier to see through, and you can see it right there with the purple light. That's why I believe this one isn't really Wood's glass, it's just some type of imitation trying to, you know, be similar to it. So we'll go ahead and screw that one in here as well in the center. So now we have the more modern day incandescent and the older incandescent with is believed to have Wood's glass, this particular one. Now, like I said, actual quality ones would have Wood's glass um, if you find those nicer ones. So let's go ahead and turn off our light. Let's turn this on. So you can immediately see this one is much darker than the Philips. And that is because I'm going to turn these off for a second because they get very hot. This one is much darker because it has the Woods glass. Now this one is some type of imitation to the Woods glass, so it's not going to be um, as well of a producer uh, as this one would be for the UV light. So let's go ahead and unscrew the Philips one so that we can take a look at the traditional Woods glass bulb here. We will turn off our main light, we'll turn it on. So again, it is very, you know, dark. It isn't producing very much visible light. But if I bring it up to some things, uh, this one might not be Woods Glass. It is known that um, some US currency, you know, modern day ones, some still have it, some don't, have security strips within them. And it's not really glowing under this light. So it might not be Woods Glass. I'm going to pick up this fixture and bring it over to our Apple logo here, which does glow. And you can see it glow very faintly, but we have to get very close to it to get that effect. The same idea can happen here with the phosphors on the black and white tube. But again, it's not very strong, so it doesn't glow very brightly at all. So you have to be very cautious because these bulbs get very hot very fast. So this thing is going to be incredibly warm. So let me go ahead and grab something that I can take it out safely because you don't want to burn yourself on these bulbs. And a towel does the job just fine. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Philips version here. I don't think it'll do any better of a job, but 
it's worth giving it a try. So we'll go ahead and turn off our main light again, and let's give the Philips a whirl. So first off, we can see that the Philips version here is producing a lot more visible light. But one thing I can tell is it's also producing more of the UV light as well. I am surprised. This is the same bulb I used in the video back in 2011, but I thought the older version would be um, much better at producing than this version. So let's see if we can see the security strip. There you go. You can kind of see it right here. Let's bring it closer to the camera. With this bulb, you can see the security strip slightly glowing. So we very well may have Wood's glass on this bulb, and maybe not so good of Wood's glass on that other bulb. Let's go ahead and try it with the black and white TV. And you can see it glowing there ever so slightly. Go ahead and set that down because again, this bulb is incredibly hot. You may find some cheaper versions of these incandescent bulbs on the market as well. But again, be hesitant if they are actually woods glass bulbs or something that does the same effect, or if they're just a cheap bulb with a purple coloring. So let's see if this Gemini bulb cooled down and appears to have done so. And this bulb is probably incredibly warm, and it is. But let's unscrew it. Again, be very careful and set it aside so it can cool down. So let's move on to the fluorescent black light here in the middle. This is a CFL, of course a compact fluorescent light, but this also is the same as a linear fluorescent tube. The big tubes that you may see at bowling alleys or parties and things like that, the big old fluorescent tubes. Same idea here. It is a fluorescent bulb after all. Now a very close uh, relative to this one is the mercury vapor version, which is more for um, uh, bigger venues that need more UV light uh, and uh, more black light, of course. So here we just have a typical fluorescent black light bulb. Let's go ahead and open it up. So of course we have the special glass again here for the black light bulb being fluorescent, and I think these do the best job at being a black light blue bulb. So let's go ahead and screw it into our fixture here. Screw it in by the base for finishing because we don't want to bust the tubes. We will turn off our main light, and let's turn this one on. Now right away, you can tell that this fluorescent version produces a lot more UV light. Because even from this distance, with the bulb being here, we can still have the Apple logo and the TV glow under the black light. And we can bring the $5 bill closer and we can see that strip is really glowing bright now because this black light is producing a lot more UV light than the incandescent versions did. Of course, we can bring it closer to get more intense light, as you can see there, and even to the old black and white TV. We can even see the plastics here of the container of the bulb glowing as well. So these fluorescent bulbs do a very good job of providing the black light effect that we've all come to know. So let's go ahead and turn on our main light again, and we'll turn this one off. So that is the traditional, and I think the best, version of getting a black light blue bulb, a nice fluorescent. We'll go ahead and set that right there for right now, and let's move on to the modern day example. This is a black light filament LED bulb, one of the newest things on the market. Now there are traditional LED bulbs that aren't filament and will do the same effect as this one, but I found these are the best. So, let's go ahead and open this one up. Of course, LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. And we have a whole bunch of them on each of these rods on this particular bulb here. Now, these are special LEDs for producing black light, blue light. Traditional filament LED bulbs have a coating 
over the filaments, such as this one, to produce regular, usable, warm white light. This one doesn't need that yellow coating, as the LEDs are already ready to produce the light that we desire. So let's go ahead and screw this one in to our socket right here. These bulbs are very lightweight, but don't be fooled, they still produce some heat. Even the fluorescent version does. Now with this bulb on, we can notice, if we move this out of the way, it is one of the best, believe it or not, it is very close contender to the fluorescent here, if not a little bit better than the fluorescent, but I still like the um, fluorescent version much better at producing UV light. And again, from this distance, we can see the Apple logo gl glowing, the black and white TV, and even we can get this $5 bill nice up and close and see that security strip glow very nicely. The same effect can be had on this packaging for the black light uh, fluorescent version. So this bulb is one of the newest technologies in black light blue light on the consumer market. Again, it does an incredible job making everything glow. So let's go ahead and set it down and we'll turn on our main light. Now, like I said, this particular bulb still gets warm. It doesn't get as hot as the incandescent versions and the fluorescent version doesn't get too hot either, but it still gets very warm. This still gets hot as well, probably equal to the fluorescent here when used for extended periods of time. So let's go ahead and remove this bulb from its socket and move it down here. We will also screw in our fluorescent version. Next, we'll put in our Phillips and this older black light bulb as well. Now I'm going to move the packages out of the way just so we have more space to take a look at each of these on next to each other because it's always good to have a side-by-side -side comparison. Here we go. So, first off, you will notice that the brightest out of all of these at producing UV and visible light is the LED bulb. The next would be this Philips incandescent right here. It's producing a lot of visible light, but it also is the best incandescent version at producing the UVA light that we need from a black light blue bulb. Of course, this old Gemini bulb at the end looks pretty cool, but it doesn't do as good of a job. Of course, the traditional and my still favorite, the fluorescent right here, is the dimmest compared to the incandescent and LED. So it's not producing a lot of visible light, but it is producing definitely a lot of the UV light that we need, again, for the black light bulb to be effective. So you can see here, the fluorescent and LED do the best job at making everything glow. Just using the incandescence, of course we still have some bleed over here from the um, LED version and the black light version, but the incandescents don't do as good of a job as the traditional, or well, not too traditional, but you know, newer technologies over here. So at the end of the day, I would highly recommend the fluorescent version. It is a little cheaper right now than the LED version, but I'm sure the LED will come down in price over time. But I would steer away from the incandescent. They produce a lot of heat, and the effect isn't as great as many people desire. So, I really do hope you enjoyed this quick little comparison video of the LED, fluorescent, and incandescent black light blue bulbs. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.